one of them is accountability and all the work being done uh, to figure out what you're getting for your campaign expenditures. Uh, we now have about three or four books written called Marketing Metrics in one way or another. Uh, telling us we, we need measurements, the CO and the CFO demand those measures, and that's, that's a big trend. The second is <clears throat> the search for um, customer insights. Uh, it's a different word than doing marketing research. Marketing research gives you a lot of demographics and things like that and a hundred page report, but sometimes you end up saying, well, what did we learn? Well, a, marketing, a customer insight is, is almost a um, a, a, a new, very new way to look at the, the market. Um, maybe it's a new segmentation. In the uh, dog food market, uh, the old segmentation was demographic. Uh, food for big dogs, small dogs, uh, food for young dogs, old dogs. Now it's what's the attitude toward the dog that the owner has. And if the owner sees the dog as an infant, you feed you claim that your food product is the way you want to treat your infant and be careful with your infant and so on and so forth. So customer insights, now they happen occasionally, but there are processes of creativity that will provoke a good marketing staff into coming up with a, a new idea for, for the product. We need big ideas in marketing and any firm that is not investing in innovative work and creative work uh, is going to miss the boat. Mm. So because mo most of these firms, they're doing what we call incremental innovation, uh, if they're doing that at all. So they're putting out another soup, another uh, brand of cereal. It's, it's even more interesting when instead of just putting out another box of cereal, you make a new thing with cereal, like the cereal health bar. Uh, or you make the uh, yogurt, which has a plastic top, and there's cereal in it, so you could then put the cereal in the yogurt, make it more tasty. So this idea we call, I call it uh, lateral marketing rather than uh, vertical marketing. Vertical marketing is another box of cereal. Lateral marketing is thinking out of the box, thinking across, thinking w what else can we do with the capacities that we have for making cereal or for putting out toys or something like that. Philip, the marketing industry is inundated with sort of, you know, buzz terms. Um, in fact, I think even buzz marketing is a, is a new term in the marketing, in the marketing sector. But um, can you tell me, is there any new hot thing that's coming up you think will actually have some stickability? Guerrilla marketing uh, has a little movement to it, and it turns out that, and by the way, it's guerrilla, not, it's the street fighter, not the ape, when we use the, when we spell the word. Um, it's especially interesting for small businesses. Small businesses have, you know, most of the world's businesses are small. And we marketers are criticized for always saying, um, this is marketing and talking about Coca-Cola. And they don't have the resources the, for budgets, for expensive uh, marketing research. So what, what about the small players? And our argument normally is um, two things. One is there is such a thing as low cost research and low-cost advertising on the internet, for example. Uh, and we do more teaching of how to uh, do these things with less, lower budgets uh, than normal. Uh, and then secondly, we say you've got to be smarter. You, you should be, you're going to be more agile. You're going to be closer to the market. I mean, the, the company's decisions are being made on the 30th floor by, by a president and a CFO and uh, maybe a marketing guy around there, but really you're a small businessman and you can be close to the customer and move faster. Okay, so guerrilla marketing I think is a good movement. Um, buzz marketing is very uh, interesting because uh, if you can get good word of mouth, uh, it replaces the um, need to spend a lot of money. And um, some, there's two ways to do buzz marketing. Sometimes you hire someone who's very uh, sexy and everyone wants to see them in action, Tiger Woods, you know, and, and you get them to endorse your shoes or something like that. Uh, you're, uh, so basically um, that, uh, that works. Richard Branson is supreme at that, by the way. Uh, even when he started the wedding business, wedding gown business, I think he put on a wedding gown and marched down as if he was going to be married. Uh, so, so that works, you know. Uh, the other kind of buzz marketing is, is becoming professionalized, and that is there are, there are, uh, there's a company, for example, 
uh, called Grapevine, which actually has teams of people of different ages, uh, like maybe 50,000 college students, maybe uh, 70,000 senior citizens, and you bring to that fellow your product uh, and say, I like this buzzed about. And he'll say, if he likes the product, sometimes he says, I, I, you'd be wasting your money. There's nothing to buzz about it. But if he likes the product, he'll say, I, give me 50,000 units, because I'm going to give them away to 50,000 college students and to tell them um, to just report on how they buzzed about it. They don't have to if it's not natural for them. If it did come up, report that it did come up. What did people say? And you'll get a report from me. And, uh, and hopefully there will be a lot of word of mouth going around.